Hi, um, it's Nicole again talking about recovering from ME-CFS and fibromyalgia. Um, so today what I was thinking about talking about was the whole energy envelope concept. Um, it's easy to be a critic, it really is, um, and I'm aware of that, but I do have a couple criticisms of it. And I've been doing this battery model just for a couple days now and it's been actually working pretty well where I take my little marbles, take them out, if I use up energy, put them back in when I gain energy. Um, and it's actually pretty much based off of this energy envelope idea, but the concept is different in that the way that you visualize a battery where an activity that you do, a situation that you're in, um, the foods that you eat, the whatever choices you make, when they, they are either adding to your energy, right, your battery power, or you're taking it away. It's like this energy envelope, same thing. The problem with the envelope is that I've always been, throughout my recovery, I've been so against kind of paying attention to it because I felt very restricted by it. I felt very like you're inside this dome and you can't get out and you're kind of banging against the walls. And the visual for me was, it was a lot. And I think that people that have ME-CFS or fibromyalgia or any other complex chronic health condition, like chemical sensitivity, you're kind of in this world where it's like, I just want to get out. I just want to escape. I just want to live my life. And every time I push too far, I do too much then these symptoms flare up. So I found that the energy envelope was not particularly expansive in the sense of like me being able to have a growth mindset. Um, so when I think about a battery, it's really easy for me to write down, this is the stuff that builds up my energy, this is the stuff that takes away my energy. And over time, I can physically see these marbles it's like okay i'm gonna get through the day and i'm gonna have one marble left at the end of the day and then if i do that every day you know i'm gonna have two marbles then three marbles then four marbles if i always are kind of in this expansive mode and to have that visual you feel really good you feel like you're doing something and your body feels good doing it and you're naturally growing without thinking that you're pushing because you're not you're not pushing at all because what you're doing is if you're gonna build up stuff, you have to sleep, right? You eat healthy food, that goes, goes in. For me, I'm noticing that I really enjoy writing. So when I start blogging, I am pouring a lot of energy out, but that energy actually comes back into me and I feel rejuvenated, right? I don't feel drained, I feel like vibrant and excited. So it's like, oh, I've just actually plus one marble into the battery because of something that I did that was for me self-care. For you, it might be having a bath or going on a nature walk or just sitting outside in nature or whatever it is for you, you know, smiling, dancing, or just listening to music going like this because maybe you can't dance. Any of those things are things that you're building up. So it's not that you're pushing. There is no push. There's no struggle, right? There's no, there's no more pushing and crashing and pushing and crashing there's no more of this, oh, you're not doing enough, you're resting too much. Because that's also the energy envelope. It talks about how if you don't do enough, right, then you're also like losing energy. Your symptoms get worse because your world shrinks down. But with the battery, because you're trying to, to grow it, even just eating healthy food is an act, right? A meditation, a breathing exercise is an act of care. It doesn't, you don't have to push your way out of this envelope or against the sides of this caged and bare, like we already feel trapped it up. <laughs> so <laughs> this is my like little, once again, I'm grateful that it exists. I'm grateful for the guy, girl, whoever invented it. I probably should know the name. Um, but I really love these marbles right now and I'm loving the expansiveness of the mindset because at the end of the day, for me, ME-CFS and fibromyalgia, it's so, it's a really delicate balance in your emotional state 
it's a delicate balance in the way you frame your world. It's easy to visualize something slightly, you know, skewed, just slightly not what you need and to fall back down. And for me, what I would love and why I'm sharing these videos is it'd be nice to get everybody in this kind of expansive mindset where you feel like you have some semblance of control, which you do, you do have control over your symptoms. And that's kind of what this is all about. So anyways, I hope you enjoy my video. Let me know your thoughts down below about the, I don't know, your ideas about the um, energy envelope, your ideas about the battery. Do you have any better ideas, a different way to frame it in a positive way that is expansive and helpful and yeah, will help everyone else in this community. So thank you so much. Ciao.